minor crisis. <laughs> I'm registering for the California bar exam. And there's this like $250 late filing fee and I'm texting all of my friends. It's three o'clock in the morning because I'm on the East Coast and it opened at midnight. <coughs> We're trying to decide what to do because it's $250 on top of a $670 exam and a $150 laptop fee and with all of the charges. Okay, so my camera battery died while I was getting ready, but this is the final look. Just have some everyday makeup. We're not focusing, what the heck? Yeah, everyday makeup, and I straightened my hair. I'm in my pajamas still, but I'm going to change now in one, two, three. I don't know if I was in the same position and if that worked, but this is the outfit today. This is a dress that I have from uh, Primark. It's like a big shift dress with this black and white pattern, little polka dots, and this nice detail on the neck, and then kind of flowy-ish sleeves. I have to put on tight still because I'm bare-legged right now, but yeah, now that I'm dressed, I don't usually get dressed like this for work, but I'm having a work lunch video thing, so I thought I would, you know, put on a cute outfit and do my hair and makeup. Yeah! All right, I actually have to log on for work soon. I need to, I actually don't even have my freaking my Apple watch on. It fell off last night when I was sleeping. I hate that like some days when I do my makeup, I get like the sniffles. And then I feel like my makeup gets all messed up around my nose and then my eyes water and my eye makeup gets messed up But yeah, that is essentially the look for today. I think I might put on my pink slippers and We're gonna start work. It's 
almost 10 30 which means it's 7 30 california time and i usually like to log on between 7 and 8 and then i usually log off at 3 30 california time which is 6 30 on the east coast because i have class but it's spring break so i don't have any class so i'm not in any sort of rush to log off from work today i can really just like focus on the things that i have to get done that is that's the plan for today i'm like actually so exhausted from those shenanigans last night oh i actually didn't even get to tell you guys the whole story oh here's the dress which i will later because i have to log on for work but i'm gonna have another coffee which is my third today good okay <sighs> i almost tripped i'm so tired today but i have coffee number three yay and an apple and peanut butter for breakfast. I don't know. I just looked in the cabinet and was like, what do I want to eat? And this is what my body says from listening to my body. Earlier this morning, I also made an egg salad, which I'm gonna have for lunch. And I have a meeting today with the associates from the law firm that I work at. And it's a lunch meeting. So I'm gonna get a gift card for lunch, which is amazing. But because it's in California, that's at like 3 p.m. <laughs> so I'll probably have my egg salad sandwich closer to one o'clock and then order something. Maybe more like an afternoon snack using my gift card. I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, my brain hurts. I am exhausted. When I don't sleep enough, I get a headache. But now I'm gonna log on for work and do some work in. I wonder if I can put you guys on here. I have my tripod in the basement because I brought it down there for choir on Thursday so I could use the good lighting. And so my ring camera is actually in the basement. Okay. I love the quality of this camera, right? Hold on, let me turn this light off. There we go. I love the quality of this camera. The screws have fallen out though. So like the screen like tilts like viewfinder tilts off and I don't know how to fix it because <laughs> I have to order more screws but I don't know like ugh. blogger problems I was going to do a nice little montage of me freaking working <clears throat> okay oh shit I got peanut butter on my laptop I have some good news my bar application is finally pending instead of being abandoned. And I don't think I ever actually told you guys the story. So let me tell you while I have this beautiful lunch, courtesy of the law firm where I work, I got this like falafel plate with hummus and pita bread and stuffed grape leaves and a little salad. Mm, messy. And so much hummus. I love hummus. Basically, what happened last night so i went to log on and register for the bar register for the bar exam when i got to the payment page it said there was a late fee and i was like weird because this is the first day you can register and i'm registering at midnight that's bizarre so i text all my friends they have the same thing on their accounts so we all are like okay we'll just pay it and then we'll get reimbursed later so we do that then all of, we get we all get a confirmation email saying your application's been submitted blah 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 Four minutes later, we get an email that says, your application is actually incomplete because you're missing some of these forms. And then we get another email that says, because it was incomplete and you didn't turn in these forms, as of February 9th, you're ineligible to take the bar, your application is abandoned, and you do not get reimbursed for your bar application fees, which totaled more than $1,000 by the time you added up the bar exam fee, the laptop fee, and the $250 late fee. Cue panic. All of us are panicking. And the more we thought about it, the, the more like we started to, you know, use our brains and think instead of just panic. And we realized that the deadlines were still set to the February bar exam. So even though it said July, 2021, we were registering for a test that had all the same deadlines as the February exam. So we were like, oh my God. Oh my God. So I went back to sleep at four o'clock in the morning. I woke up this morning, the nothing was fixed. My thing was still pending or it was abandoned. 
my bandit. <laughs> and there were, and then we started getting emails from our professor at school who like handles all the bar prep. And he was like, don't worry, we're gonna figure this out everybody. I know this is stressful. It shouldn't be this stressful, but I'm sorry that this is the way it is, but we're gonna figure it out. So we were right. They had the wrong dates set in the system and it was like a glitch. And so we're getting reimbursed and my application is no longer abandoned. It's now pending. It's been reinstated and all is well. But the journey that I've gone on in the past 12 hours has been wild and I'm so tired. So I had a lunch today with the associates of the law firm that I work at as a law clerk and they were so gracious enough to send a gift card. So my lunch is courtesy of the law firm. Just hummus all over it. And it like, it got to the house at a weird time where I didn't wanna like leave the Zoom call to go get it. I'm only eating it now, <laughs> the meeting is over, but like actually so good. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of weird about eating on camera, but here's what it is. I felt like this was like a semi healthier choice too. I'm going to like buy food out because so many of the options for like fast food and there aren't a lot of like healthy places to get a salad around where I live on the like online delivery places. And while stuffed grape leaves aren't the healthiest, this is like literally all vegetables. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then there's falafel, which is fried, but so tasty. I actually do have to head back to work because I have stuff I need to get done. I feel better today because there's no rush to log off because I don't have class tonight because it's spring break, baby. My spring break trip is being spent sitting here. I'll probably be here most of the day tomorrow working on my directed research. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. I will see you guys probably when I sign off at the end of the day. I'm going to tell you my other piece of good news, which is that I auditioned to be in a special song in choir that has like a smaller ensemble, and I got in. So, woohoo! I got into the song, and I'll be sure to share like all the videos of like the performances and stuff with you guys once they're out. I'm also going to audition for a smaller ensemble. It's very hard being in, being a soprano in a choir where half of the choir is literally full of sopranos. There's like 170 people in this choir and most of the choir is sopranos. So the number I just got into that I auditioned for has like, I think 20 to 30 sopranos. And the number that they're, that they're doing like auditions for next week is like half of that. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that'll be good enough to make it in. I don't know. I just finished work. Also, look at this pimple. It makes me, I don't like it. It's really hard to cover up. Hmm. <sighs> I just finished uh, work for the day and I logged on to check my midterm grade and I should have recorded this, but I just like had a feeling in my stomach that it was up and it is. And I'm so happy, you guys. I worked so hard on that midterm and studying. And I got a 3.7, which is incredible because this professor rarely gives more than a 3.6. And I'm just very pleased with myself, very happy. I worked really, really hard and I definitely deserved this grade or deserve present tense. And yeah, it just makes me feel really good because that was basically like a bar exam that was open note. And I did really well. After a very eventful Monday, I'm watching The Bachelor on my computer. So, feeling really, really, really pleased with myself. Just really proud of all the hard work I put in. You guys saw how I was literally losing my mind last week. I just knew it. And now I get to watch The Bachelor. It's the women tell all, which I've been looking forward to. I had dinner at like four and it's eight. So I think I might go make a snack. I know I'm like trying to lose weight, but I, I'm kind of hungry and it's late. Women are nasty on The Bachelor this season. I didn't, I didn't love it. I'm not going to lie.